Hey guys, I'm going to show you something today that you can do right now on your home network. Um, we're going to hide the SSID of our network, that way it's not broadcasting the network name to everybody. Uh, there's a lot of pros and cons to this. Uh, there's a big discussion online about whether or not it's necessary. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more after the tutorial, but let's get into it. In order to hide our network, there are a couple of bits of information we need to know about it. The first thing we need is the default gateway IP address. And to find that, open up a command prompt and type in ipconfig. This will display a list of the settings that our adapter is using to connect to our network. We need that 192.168.1.1. Now go ahead and open an internet browser and type that into the address bar. And this will bring us to a user access control window. Now your default username and password, are, they're going to be different depending on your router. Uh, you should be able to find them in your documentation. If not, you can just search online and there, it'll be all over the place, I'm sure. So go ahead and enter that information. And this is the interface for the router. So go ahead and click on the wireless section after it loads up. Uncheck Enable SSID Broadcast. Go ahead and change the name of your network to something that's not the default. And the same with your password. Now I'm using very simple uh, SSIDs and passwords here just for the sake of the video. So you'll probably want to do something a lot more complex. So as it's applying these settings, you'll see me get kicked off here in a second. It's, it has to reset the connection. So after the connection goes away, we'll have to connect to the hidden network, in which case we'll have to enter that SSID and password in again. Okay, so it's kicked me off. We'll open it up. And now we can see that there is a hidden network. Now I like to uncheck the connect automatically box simply because if there happens to be another network with that same SSID somewhere that's not private, it could potentially connect to it whether you want it to or not because you have it saved to automatically connect. And the same thing, I don't like to have my devices discoverable on my network unless it's something you know, uh, for a specific purpose, and then I will turn it back off later. So after you put in the uh, SSID and password, you should be connected. And as you can see, we can ping Google again. Okay, guys, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of doing this. We'll talk about the cons first, because it'll make the pros make a little bit more sense, right? So... You always want to make sure you have the connect automatically box unchecked and this is for the main reason of let's say you've got your phone in your pocket and it's said to automatically connect to your home network if you are at mcdonald's or somewhere that has wi-fi which is pretty much everywhere uh, on the off chance that there's a network out there that has the same ssid as the one that your phone is set to automatically connect to you are going to connect to it whether you know it or not. And if you're on an, un, a potentially unsecured network, then that's, that's bad. You don't know what your phone's doing. You don't know what the network's doing. You don't know who's on it. You don't know what's going on. Uh, two, the way that Connect Automatically works, the Connect Automatically feature, is that your phone or device, whatever you've got the network set up on, is constantly sending out a packet to try and find that network and in that packet there is the SSID name and there's probably some other stuff which I don't know right now um, but if there's somebody sitting beside you or within the vicinity of your phone that has a, a, a packet sniffer they're going to be able to get that information um, and so moving on to the next con you don't want to do this without having a strong password and strong encryption uh, on your network. This is not a standalone feature. Uh, there's all sorts of packet uh, softwares out there that are designed 
to find hidden SSIDs and any kind of experience or even intermediate hacker is not going to have a big problem finding this information and getting on your network. So keep that in mind too, please, and use strong passwords and strong encryption. Uh, so let's talk about some of the pros. Uh, to me, it's not really so much a security feature. I mean, there is some security benefit to it. Um, and if you look online, there are a lot of the a lot of the problems that people have with this is that because it's so easy to find and detect that you're better off not using it. It causes more problems than it's worth. However, I don't agree. Uh, there's an argument about the whole uh, security through obscurity uh, paradigm, which to me that's always applied in a completely different manner. Because with security through obscurity, you're basically looking at a whole bunch of gobbledygook unnecessary steps to find this information, not so much a one step that does have some benefits kind of situation, which is what we're looking at here. Um, so my benefits for it are, let's say you've got 10 or 15 people over and you have your private network that has all, that has all of your, you know, data on it, your personal data has all your machines with your personal data and it's what you normally use. If you have that set up and then you have a guest network set up, if you have those 10 or 15 people come over, they're all going to be trying to connect to your network, right? So it's going to take some time to have them all line up and give them all the password. Half of them are going to be connecting to your guest network, which is the one they should be connecting to. And then half of them are going to be connecting to your, or trying to connect to your private network. And this is not an ideal situation. And you're going to be giving out passwords and all sorts of other crap to these people that, you know, just whenever you got friends over, it's really easy to say, oh yeah, just connect to it this time and we'll worry about that later. Don't do that because whenever they come back over, they're still going to connect to your private network because that's what they're set up to do. Um, unless, of course, you uncheck the connect automatically box, which is what you should be doing anyway. Uh, so that's one of the pros of it. Um, so let's say to that oh, go ahead and open up your networking sharing center you'll probably see a whole bunch of networks out there some of them have people's names on them some of them are generic some of them like i live across the street from a, an educational facility when i open up my network there's like five or six different uh access points uh networks being broadcast that i could try to connect to anytime i wanted to now yes they're secured but you know, I could probably run some kind of dictionary attack. I could probably get into it if I wanted to. And this is an educational facility. So, if you hide your network, your network is not going to be out there for people to just try and connect to. And whenever someone tries to connect to it, they're, they're having to send an authentication packet to your router. That router is having to send a packet back saying, hey, you got the wrong password. Get out of here. So, you are potentially increasing the unnecessary strain and resource usage on your router. Um, so eliminating the potential for that, you know, you don't have to worry about people trying to get in if they can't see it, uh, other than the hackers I was talking about before, but that's, you, if somebody wants in your network, they will get into it unless you use a strong password and encryption. However, the average lay person is not going to be able to get into it. You know, they're not going to understand what's going on. They're not going to know how all that stuff works. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. And that's why I feel like it's still a viable option and it's still useful. Um, if you guys have any comments, uh, you want to discuss this, if there's something I missed or something I got wrong, just let me know if you liked the video, uh, like it, if you disliked it, disliked it. If you liked it and you want to see more, uh, just hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and we'll be posting another one soon.